While many parents in the Brazos Valley rely on school buses to keep their precious cargo safe on their way to school. And as KRHD News reporter Hannah King shares, leaders in transportation are doing everything they can, keeping sanitation and safety in mind. I'm worried about kids but I'm confident in our school system. AJ Reynolds is a Bryan ISD parent who has an eighth and ninth grader, one which rides the bus. I really stress that if they uh, catch COVID, you know, if they have to stay home from school, it's going to put them very behind. Um, and I, I hate to see that for any student. And that's just more reason to to wear those masks. Masks are required on school buses and leaders in transportation in Bryan and College Station are doing everything in their power to make sure the ride is safe with cleaning and preventative measures. We are continuing uh, very similarly to where we were last spring. So um, we have a hospital grade cleaner that we use uh, that should kill 99.9% .9 of all viruses, including uh, any variants of the uh, COVID-19. Um, that'll be sprayed on buses on a daily basis. They use the hand, the hand sanitizers that they get on. Um, and then with the uh, federal um, uh, uh, transportation uh, mask mandate still in effect, um, we'll still be wearing masks on the school bus as well. With deep cleaning of high traffic areas and masks required, this parent's mind rests a little easier. You can't really social distance on a bus. Um, and so because of that, um, it makes me feel um, better about my kids riding uh, school transportation um, as they're required to wear, wear masks. Of course, COVID-19 is front and center, but so should the increased awareness of school buses in general. Distracted driving is a huge issue um, with kind of everybody and um, making sure that you're aware and, and looking out for the school buses and those stop signs um, that makes me nervous um, school buses being rear ended or kids getting um, hit especially while folks are coming out of summer and seeing more buses running i just want to reiterate that uh, we will be on the roads again and we will be stopping for children we need to go back to realizing that there's a lot of children that are going to be walking that are going to be boarding uh, buses so just keep an eye on out for us and wearing masks keeps drivers safe too. That school bus isn't driving itself. Uh, somebody's behind the wheel and we need them um, to be behind the wheel. And so um, they're a critical part of the success of our students. Back to school this year means not only sharing the road, but staying COVID safe too. In Brazos County, Hannah King, KRHD News. And Tech Stop Brian is reminding drivers how to approach a school bus when it is stopped. If it's a two-lane road, vehicles traveling behind the bus or on the opposite direction must stop. Vehicles traveling in all directions on a multi-lane road that is not separated by a barrier must stop as well. If the highway or div is divided by a natural or physical barrier, vehicles traveling behind the bus must stop and drivers traveling the opposite direction should proceed with caution. And here are some safety tips to teach your kids courtesy of the College Station Police Department. The CSPD suggests staying at least five steps away from the curb while waiting for the bus. Once the bus arrives, wait for it to come to a complete stop, then wait for the bus driver's signal to board. Once your child finds a seat, they should face forward in that seat. And finally, look left, right, then left again while exiting the bus.